In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a call to action here at the very top of your site. And then when you click on it, it will open a pop up. Um, so we can do that with text or we can do it with a button. And so there's different ways to accomplish this dependent on whether you're going to link text or you're going to link a button. And so I've done this on a couple of my clients, my custom clients websites, and um, our customers end up asking, well, how did you achieve that look? And so I'm going to walk you all the way through how to make this happen on your own website. Now, before we dive in, I do need to tell you that in order to do this, you will need Cadence Pro. This will not work with the free version of Cadence, so this is something that um, you would definitely need Pro for. If you don't have Pro, I would just encourage you to watch this video if this is something that you're hoping to achieve. Um, that way, um, you kind of learn a little bit of the benefits and what is offered inside of Cadence Pro. Now, I'm going to be using specifically Cadence Blocks. Cadence Elements and the Cadence Blocks Pro because we'll be using the modal block and that is only available in the Pro version. Okay, so let's first walk through an example of linking text in the top bar here um, for an opt in and we're going to link it to a pop up. Okay, so let's go into our dashboard and let's just start here at the beginning. Now, if you have the Cadence Pro uh, plugins installed, you'll need the, the Pro Blocks and the Pro Theme. Um, then what you'll do is navigate to Appearance and then Cadence. And the first thing you're going to want to do is enable Elements because we will need this feature. Now, by default, once you install the plugins and activate them, the Elements feature is still hidden. So you do have to come in here and find Hooked Elements and you turn the toggle on. Once you do that, you'll see a new option over here under appearance, cadence, and then you'll see elements. And this is where we're going to be working um, in to start. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new element here. And we're going to do a content section. And I'm just going to give this a name of pop up. Now, after that, we're going to start working in this space to add our pop up. So this is what we're going to see once we actually click the link or the button, and this will pop up in the middle of the screen. And so we're going to do this little plus icon and I am going to search for modal and I'm going to choose this option. And then we're going to start working with editing this to be how we want it to look. Okay. So let's first, uh, I'm going to select the modal. If you don't see this on the left side of your screen, you'll click on um, this icon here and it will come up for you. And so I'm going to make sure I've got the modal selected. And then over here on um, our modal box size, I want to increase this a little bit. So I'm going to change the 600 to 800. So it'll make the box that pops up in the middle of our screen a little bit wider. Okay, and then um, we're also going to remove this link here at the top. So I'm going to go to my link settings and I'm going to disable this. And once I do that, it's going to give me an option for a custom open ID. And we, we can put whatever word we want right here. Um, but in this example, I'm just going to use something simple and do the word pop up. Now you want to keep this simple because ultimately we are going to be, be linking to this word um, when we get to the next step. So you don't want it to be too long or complicated. You just want to keep this um, pretty simple. And then right here, it has a little note and I'm just going to go over it real quick, but this is what we're going to be doing after this step, after we build our actual pop up. So it says using this, you can define a custom open ID, making it possible to open from another link on your page. The link should be hashtag and then your custom ID, which is what we put right here. And then you will need to give the link the class of modal hyphen trigger. So these are the two things that we're going to be doing after we finish creating this. So I just wanted to point that out, um, that that note is there in case um, you ever need to look back upon it. All right, so let's get to creating our pop up. So I'm going to put my mouse right here and where it says create awesome. And I'm going to click on this little symbol on my keyboard and this will open up all of the available blocks for me. Now I can start typing and searching blocks if I wanted to, but really all I need right now is a row layout and it's um, already here available to me. So I'm going to click on row layout and I'm going to do the two column option. And basically what we're going to be creating is um, an opt in box. And over here on the left side, we'll have an image. And then on the right, we'll have a little bit of copy and our sign up form. 
So let's start here. I'm going to click the little plus icon and I'm going to search for image. Um, and actually let's do advanced image because um, that's the block that I want, advanced image. I'm going to do select image and I'm going to choose an image here from my media library. So let's just choose this one. Okay. And then over here on the right, I'm going to add just a little bit of text. So gain access to our free ebook here. Okay. I'm going to change this to a heading text. So, and then I'm going to center it. And then right below this, I am going to add an HTML block. So custom HTML. And then I'm going to grab the code over here from ConvertKit and I'm going to copy it and paste it into that HTML space. Okay. So now I'm going to just save my draft. All right. And so that should be everything that we need. Um, one more adjustment I'm going to make is I am going to select my row and I'm going to vertical or horizontally align everything to the middle so that it'll all be perfectly centered in the middle of the screen. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is actually place this on our website. So what we'll do is we'll click on this little icon right here and we're going to go placement and really because this is going to be popping up, it's not going to be visible until you hit a link that will pop it up. It really doesn't matter um, where you place it. Um, but I'm just going to do um, after site wrapper. And so that will just make it come up at the bottom um, in your source code for your website. Now display settings, I'm going to do entire website because ultimately if we are going to be linking it from right here, this is going to be showing on every page of our website. And so I need to make sure that this pop-up will be available to us um, on every single page. And then user settings, we're going to set this to all users because we want everyone to be able to see it. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. Okay. Now, if I go to the website and I refresh my screen um, and we scroll all the way down, you can see we do not see that pop up here. But now what we want to do is edit this link right here to um, trigger that pop up. So let's go back and we're going to go back to our dashboard and I'm going to go to appearance and customize. And once here, we're going to go to our header and then in our header, we have three rows and this very top row is where we have our social icons and we have this text that's being populated right here. So it's right here in this HTML little widget. And so I'm going to click on the settings tool here and we are going to, oops, um, we are going to, change this completely. So let's just do gain access to our free guide here. Okay. And so you can have this be whatever you want it to be. Um, and then what I'm going to do is highlight this and I'm going to go ahead and link it. And we're going to do uh, the hashtag symbol and we're going to do pop up, which is the custom ID that we gave our pop up in the last step. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to hit apply. Okay. And then I'm going to flip this over to the text version. And so this will just allow us to see this code and then we can add our class to it. So our, this is what our code looks like a, um, H R E F. And this is the link that it's going to now, right after this, um, where it closes with the little quotations, I'm going to do a space and I'm going to type class equals open quotations and I'm going to type modal hyphen trigger and then I'm going to close my quotations and that's it. So I'm just adding this to the code a little bit. So this just gives this the class of modal trigger so that it'll actually trigger our pop up to appear. Okay. Now I don't love this link color up here, so I'm going to flip over to design and under link colors, I'm going to change that gold color to white so we can actually see. And then I'm going to change the link style to no underline. So I'm going to go ahead and publish and I'm going to come back here and refresh the screen and then let's give this a shot. And now you can see our link up here now is bringing up that pop up for us that we designed as an element. Okay. 
Now, in order to um, have a button here at the top of the page, you have to do this a little differently. Because if I go back here in my customizer and I add a button um, to, let's say, the right side of the screen here, the problem with using this widget here inside of the header settings is we are unable to add a class to the button. And so it has to be done a little bit differently. And so I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. So let's go ahead and remove that. I'm going to just X that out and then let's go ahead and hit publish. And then let's go um, out of our customizer and we're gonna create a new element. Okay, so appearance, elements, and add new. And we can either do a content section or a fixed section. A fixed section would um, make it to where when you scroll down on the page, the bar at the top that we're about to create um, will remain at the top for you. So if you wanted it to be fixed to the top, you would choose that as your option. Um, I'm just gonna choose the content section for now, okay? So I'm gonna do um, website top bar. We just wanna give this some sort of name so that we know what it is. No one sees this on the front end of your website, so that is more for your reference, okay? And then we're gonna design the bar that's gonna go across the top of our website. So we now, instead of using the customizer on our header, we need to create that whole bar ourselves using blocks. So I'm gonna type this little icon and we're gonna choose the row layout and I'm gonna go ahead and do two columns. And I'm sort of gonna duplicate what we have here. I'm gonna add icons, and then I'm also gonna add a little bit of text, but we're gonna add that button here on the right. So over here, let's click on the plus icon, and I'm gonna search for social icons. And then we'll hit the plus icon, and we can search for the icons that we want. Okay, and then let's do Instagram. Oops and we'll do Twitter. Oops. Okay. And then um, we gotta put all the links in for these in order for them to appear. So I'll just type in um, the names of these and twitter.com, okay. And then let's pull up our, um, our block navigation and we can select social icons and we can adjust them a little bit. So I want them to be left aligned, but I just want to adjust the colors of them. So let's do icon color. I want them to be white. Let's do logos only. And um, actually, um, now that we have those white, we can't see them. So let's change the background color on our row. We want this to be that dark green color. And then we'll be able to see our icons here. Okay. And let's go ahead and center everything horizontally so it'll be perfectly center um, in the middle going left to right um, and then that should be everything on our icons okay so now on the right side I want to add a little bit of text and a button so I'm gonna click the plus icon and do a paragraph and I'm gonna say gain access to our let's just do freebie library Okay. And then I'm going to hit enter and do a button. So let's type in button. Let's do advanced buttons. Okay. And then get access now. And I'm going to choose theme. And then um, let's see, we're going to change the color of that button because it doesn't quite look right on this green background. So we can go over to style and on the background color, I can change this to white and then I'll change the text to black so that we can see what it looks like. Now, the other thing we need to do is on this uh, right side section, we want um, the elements inside of here to flow horizontally instead of on top of each other vertically. So if we select the section, I can go to um, general and then select horizontal here from the options. And then I'm also going to align this to the middle just so we have that setting there. And then we can also increase the gutter. And so this is the space between one element and another. So I'm going to increase that just a little bit. Okay, now I also want to change this text to white. So I'm gonna select this and change it to white over here. And then I also want to right align everything. Oops. 
on that side of the screen, okay? All right, so let's select our row. I'm going to decrease the padding here a little bit. Let's just do extra, extra small on the top and bottom so it makes that um, top bar pretty narrow. All right, and so now we need to link this button. So I'm going to select the button and over here under button link, I'm gonna do hashtag and then pop up. Okay, and then hit this little icon and it will save it for us. And then over on the advanced tab, we'll go down to advanced at the bottom and then it says additional CSS classes. And this is where we're gonna do modal hyphen trigger, okay? All right, so let's save that. And then now let's get this positioned on our website. So I'm gonna click on this icon. And for placement, I'm gonna do before header. Display settings on entire website and user settings will be all users. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and publish. And then we can go over here and refresh our site and we'll see um, our new bar pop up here. And so now you can see we have two, we have two bars going on. Um, so we want to remove this bar. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But let's just test our button here. So I can click on that and we now have our pop-up. Okay. All right. So let's go back. Let's go back in our dashboard and we're going to go appearance and then customize. And what we're gonna do is remove all of the elements in that top bar of our header. So I'll go to header and I'm just gonna X out social and X out the HTML. And I can hit publish. Okay, and I will refresh and we'll see that that bar now disappears. Now you can obviously make all kinds of adjustments if you want. Um, this doesn't have to be all the way across the screen like this. We can go back to our element and um, adjust the width of this. So let's, let me show you how to do that. Let's do our website top bar. Okay, and then we're gonna select the row layout. And over here on the right under content max width, we're going to enable this setting to inherit the max width from the theme. And so this will sort of center the content for us on the middle of the page. I also noticed that um, our icons are not aligning in the center. So I'm gonna select um, the section on the left. And for our inner block direction, I'm gonna change this to horizontal also, and it will align that to the center for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit update and then we can come over here and refresh and then we'll see um, everything is now in the center. It's not all full width anymore and our icons are also centered as well. And our pop-up is working. And so if we were to click around the website a little bit, you can see that um, that bar remains at the top at all times and you can still click on the button to get that pop-up to come up. All right, so that is how you will get a pop-up um, triggered on your website if you're using a link or a button. I sure hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Um, if you did, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button on our channel. Um, we would greatly appreciate that.